Welcome to Trailer Trash. I'm going to get right into it with X-Men Apocalypse trailer number, I don't know, is this two? Is this three? This show prides itself in having inaccurate and completely unnecessary commentary. So, just like 99.9% .9 of the rest of YouTube. Get a couple quick glances at some of the pretty faces we're going to be seeing. And your children. I feel a great swirl of pity for the poor soul that comes to my school. If we pause here, we can note that all the lights work in the mansion. So... Not a light bulb needs changing. CGI representation of some sort of a fallen civilization. Uh, and then we cut to my master bedroom. He was born thousands of years ago. In terms of sleeping techniques, he could do worse. I mean, he's surrounded by some nice cozy fire. He's got a leather, scantily clad woman raising the roof, laying on a table of wood, it looks like. I don't know. I, I mean, I've seen worse situations. So is this like... Teenager apocalypse? What's going on? Are those tubes coming out the sides of him? This is just awful. I, I don't, I don't want to see that anymore. Let's move past it. Now this is what I'm talking about. A bunch of blue collared guys getting shit done. And now they're dead. Peekaboo. Like the four horsemen of the apocalypse. A shot of Magneto's new digs. Here's a shot of the new four horsemen. Highly inaccurate title. Only two of them are men, and none of them are horses. I do like Storm chilling though on the rock, just cash. Do we get a quick ass shot from Mun here? If I enhance, we get just a little bit. I don't know what's happening. Just a lot of CGI. We get a shot of Beast, who for some reason is never in Beast form, just like Jennifer Lawrence is never in Mystique form. We have Quicksilver here looking sharp. What's going on here? This woman's got kind of a side uh, sweater. Is that what's going on? Just a side sweater on the shoulder? I'm sure I agree with that look. But then we have this guy over here. His shirt is just all sorts of noise. I don't know. None, none of these outfits really do it for me. It means to destroy this world. Billions of people killed. Here we have the fallout of Donald Trump becoming president. Yeah, political joke. Stay with me. Slow motion. The world needs the X-Men. Miss Pac-Man arcade in the background. Love me some Miss Pac-Man. I'm a demigod at that game. Here we have our teenage X-Men ready to take on the day. Against a god. Why is Rose Bjorn suited up? Why she shouldn't even be on this plane? She has no business being here. Although, to be fair, neither does Jennifer Lawrence. It's like we have a cage match. Kind of harkens back to X-Men One. Nice. Oh look, Jennifer Lawrence can actually turn into Mystique on occasion. What the hell happened to the makeup here? She looks nothing like she did in the other ones. Smith. Sklating and pause. Here are the two reasons to go see this movie when it hits theaters. Oh, I was wrong. Last time I saw that shot, I thought they were going to update the CGI, but no, they're they're content with it just looking like a straight cartoon. <laughs> this is like the human centipede of orgasms. Oh my god. Yeah, that'll do just fine, Sophie. That'll do just fine. I've never wanted a bad guy to kill someone more in my life. Well, there you have it. X-Men, I'm only seeing this movie for Olivia Munn and the occasional Quicksilver shot, Apocalypse.